I'm in Vancouver for the latest More Out There journey, making a quick stop before heading to Vancouver Island. You have the longboard, which is what we're going to be making. This you. is what we're making. This is like the mini bus, easy to transport, easy to catch waves on. With Stu, he is a carpenter and surfer, and he makes the only wooden surfboards in Vancouver. These are your designs as well. I kind of sit there with a little wood burner and just burn away. That's amazing. So you're an artist as well. I tinker. This gets rid of all these irregularities from the wood and the foam and the glue. So how many times have we got to go back and forth on this? It's about half an hour of going across the board. It's really cool to see someone who has such a love for a sport that they really wanted to get to the root of it and find out how to make a surfboard. Next step, I'd get the planer out, I'd make a whole bunch more dust <laughs> and end up with a finished board. But that'd take me about a week, so I prepared one earlier. <laughs> oh, did you? Yeah. All right. Okay, so it's like a cooking show where you kind of, you tell me what you're doing, but you had one cooked the whole time. Exactly, All right, I yeah. I get it. It's real light. Yeah. I don't know why Sur I expected it to be way heavier, yeah. We're going to put the sealer coat on it and make it seaworthy. So I'm going surfing for the very first time in my entire life. Yep. Do you have any advice for me? Can you swim? I can swim, That's yeah. a good start. Deep breathing, calm, okay. you know. Yeah. Yep. Eat some bananas. Why? Um, I don't know, banana's good for you. Oh, good to know. Um. It's wild to think that you could have the best of both worlds here. You can have the bustling city or the beauty of nature and you don't have to choose. I'm heading to Tofino to go surfing, but I have a few things to check out along the way. The trip from Vancouver to Nanaimo is two and a half hours. This is absolutely stunning. I'm heading to Avatar Grove, and I'm going to an old growth forest that has some of the largest, oldest trees in the entire world. I think what makes an old growth forest unique is that it has trees of all ages and all sizes. And that variety is really what provides a lot of unique habitat and structure for the species that live here. It's crazy to think that a tree can become this big when it starts as something this big. The three really big trees you see on the coast are western red cedar, Douglas fir, and Sitka spruce. There's actually only about 1% of the original old growth Douglas fir trees remaining today. Really? So we'll never see trees like this again unless we ensure they're protected. TJ's incredible. These forests are so rare and he is trying to preserve them for generations to come. All of this soil and all of these plants that are beside the boardwalk here were once living and growing on this branch high up in the canopy. And scientists have actually discovered hundreds of species that are totally new to science that live just up there in the old growth canopy. The trees that I got to see were so majestic and, and calming. Holy. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah. Look at that. An old growth western red cedar, and in my opinion, one of the most impressive trees in the grove. Probably one of my favorite trees that I've ever come across. It's so beautiful. Yeah. Looks like a, just like a piece of art. Some of those trees have been there for a thousand years. That's such a surreal thing to think. They're so massive. I've never seen anything like it in my entire life. To be here with the RAV4, exploring these roads and the most incredible highways I've ever seen, uh, I just feel very lucky. I love the exploration side of caving. You can find yourself somewhere where no one's ever been before, seeing things no one's ever seen. Miles took me caving or spelunking. He said I was a splunker, he was a caver because he was a pro and I was an amateur. Feel that temperature change? Yeah, <laughs> look immediately. Yeah. This is the last sign of man-made assistance you'll get. We're gonna crab walk down the bobsled chute. Oh boy. I don't really know what I was expecting. I think I just thought it was gonna be a big hole of nothing. And in reality, it was so intricate and detailed. Check out these stalactites Whoa. right overhead. When you look up in a cave, you're looking back in time. It's where the oldest parts of the cave are. This is looking pretty tight. It had so much personality to it that I didn't imagine I would ever see in a cave. Oh, oh and that's why you wear helmets. Miles, are you telling me that there aren't any cracks lighting in any natural light down here? If we were to turn off our lights right now, we would be in total darkness, as dark as dark gets. Three, two, one. It's completely dark. It's pitch black. You close your eyes and open them, nothing changes. No, it's the same thing. A unique experience. You get total darkness at the bottom of the ocean or, or in a cave, so. I am going surfing later. Uh, I think I know my way around a cave now. At least that one. I know, the, I know my way around that one. The beginning part of that one, I know. 
Vancouver Island keeps surprising me. I keep feeling like, I, like I've done it all and then I get to experience something brand new. There's so much to offer here, so many things that I never could have imagined. It's an incredible place to be. We're gonna make a little of our fish batter here. Gonna add some cold water, a couple scoops of our secret recipe, taco fino uh, fish batter. We're just gonna give a little stir, just like this. It's gonna aerate, that's gonna make nice fluffy fish balls. Today I met up with Kevin, he runs the Taco Fino truck here in Tofino. Kevin's awesome, he has such a chill attitude, which you need, because he's serving sometimes 800 to 1,000 tacos a day. He's making tacos so quickly, just going from one element to the next. And the thing with the tuna, we want it real fast on the grill here. And we like it five, 10 seconds aside. That's it, that's all. That is perfect right there. Kevin, I'm freaking out right now. I'm so <laughs> excited to eat this. We call that the Tofino three pack. Fish taco, tuna taco, pork kimchi gringa. Mmm, mmm. Look, have you ever seen anything so beautiful in your entire life? Well, we see this every day. I feel like when you're in Tofino, you gotta have a surfboard on top of your vehicle. That's just how it has to go. This? Oh, I think you got this. Yeah. I, I definitely think you're standing up on a wave today. You think? Yeah, I think so. You know, anybody who's fairly athletic, I think, can get it pretty quickly. What about nerdy actors? Do yeah. they get it pretty quick? It's Pete DeVries, who's one of the top surfers in Canada, is teaching me how to surf. Because if you're gonna learn, learn from the best. I think that goes in there. Perfect. Perfect. Yeah. Great. It's All in right. the board. Next up. Next up, we got our wax. Okay. In surfing, you want to land with your feet in the middle of your board. Are you paddling? Oh, You're man. not going to catch yeah. it. All right, and pop up. That was pretty good. You see? And look at you, you're a regular like footer. I'm you're not, you're I'm not, not goofy. goofy. You're not goofy. That's the first time anyone's told me that. <laughs> man, I wish I was as good as you. At one point, I think you were showing off. Like, I was like, I get it, Pete. Like, I get it, you know what you're doing. Pete, how do you think I looked out there? I think you looked pretty good. I had a good board. For sure. Wetsuit. Wetsuit works, yeah. Surfing hat. I don't know so much about the surfing oh, hat. You... Just standing for that one millisecond, I felt like the king of the world, you know? I had a blast. I want to do this again. I want to keep surfing and I want to catch some serious waves. This is the end for now, but this whole experience has inspired me to keep traveling, keep exploring, there's more out there, and I can't wait to discover it in my RAV4.